In this film, we're going to explain how your body processes the food you eat in order to provide all your body cells with the energy they need. And also what happens when you have diabetes and this system doesn't work properly. When you eat food that contains carbohydrate, it's broken down in the stomach and digestive system into glucose, which is a type of sugar. We need glucose from food because that's what gives us energy. Carbohydrate-containing foods are things like starchy foods, sugary foods, milk and some dairy products, and fruit. This glucose then moves into the bloodstream and the body detects that the blood glucose level is rising. In response to that, the pancreas, which is a little gland that sits just underneath the stomach, starts to release a hormone called insulin. And it's insulin that helps our body get the energy from the food we eat. The bloodstream then takes the glucose and the insulin to every cell in our body that needs it. To make this easier to understand, let's look at muscle cells. At the muscle cells, it's insulin that allows the glucose to get into the cells where it can be used for energy. It's a bit like insulin is a key unlocking the door to the cells so the glucose can get in. That way, the blood glucose level starts to drop. But the blood glucose level can be topped up at any point by the liver releasing extra glucose that it has stored the blood glucose rises again, and again, the pancreas produces more insulin to move with that glucose through the bloodstream to the muscle cells, open the doors and let the glucose in. The body functions best with the blood glucose at an optimum level. It doesn't like it if the blood glucose rises too high. Normally, there's a cycle within the body which balances out the glucose and the insulin level. And this is achieved by the food you eat, the pancreas and the liver. However, in some people, the system doesn't work properly and they develop diabetes. There are two main types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. In type 1 diabetes, the body isn't making any insulin at all. This is because of an autoimmune response whereby the body has destroyed the insulin producing cells in the pancreas. We don't entirely know why that happens in some people and not in others. Type 1 diabetes accounts for about 10% of all cases. It's most often found in the under 40s and it's by far the most common type of diabetes found in childhood. 